Hi, my name is Fiona Dutch, and I have a lab at the Biozentrum, the University of Basel in Switzerland. And I would like to share with you today a new paper we have coming out in science um, about the release of stem cells from quiescence um, reveals gliogenic domains in the adult mouse brain. So in the brain, there are two main classes of cells, neurons and glial cells. Now, people have been studying neurons for well over a century, but glial cells namely oligodendrocytes and astrocytes, have been largely understudied and ignored. Neurons and glia are formed during brain development. However, we now know that in some regions of the adult brain, there are stem cells that can continue to give rise to neurons throughout life. In the adult mouse brain, one of these stem cell niches is found around the walls of the brain ventricles, which are filled with cerebral spinal fluid. If we make a cross section through the mouse brain, you can see here around the ventricles in white, um, two walls of the stem cell niche, an orange and a green wall. Under normal conditions, the orange wall, orange wall largely gives rise to neurons. However, this green wall is more um, quiescent and the stem cells are in a dormant state. We have identified a molecular signal that maintains these stem cells in a dormant state. And by perturbing this signal, we released them from this dormant state and identified several new domains um, that give rise to different types of glial cells. First, we find a domain in this purple region that gives rise to a new type of astrocyte. We also identify several domains that give rise to oligodendrocytes. But the most interesting is a domain inside the brain ventricle itself. Um, in which stem cells give rise to oligodendrocyte progenitors that are attached to the wall of the ventricle and are continuously bathed by the cerebral spinal fluid. Here you can see them nestled amongst the cilia um, that line the ventricles. This new type of oligodendrocyte progenitor contacts axons formed by neurons or of neurons from long uh, from brain regions that are very far away and they wrap around on the processes of these axons. So altogether, we have found um, two new cell types of glia in the brain. And we're fascinated in the future in trying to understand how these glial cell types might contribute to brain plasticity and can they be recruited for brain repair? And what are the signals either under normal conditions or in different contexts that stimulate these cells to become activated and give rise to different types of glia? Thank you very much.